hello welcome back to the part 2 of the RBAC tutorial uh, so let's get started uh, first thing we have to do is we have to configure uh, since we are using the backend we have to configure change the main.php file and add the auth manager so auth manager is Well, let me check I forget the names all the time so we have the classes in the RV bench and the default role is guest okay so let's add those two lines okay so the class is we we are asking the auth manager to use the he RBAC DB manager and we are going to give every user a default role as guest okay so that's the configuration part you have to do uh, and the next is let's go to our control section and add a rule to our branches create since we created a branches create uh, authentication item uh, here are the authentication items yeah here are the authentication items that we have we have create branch create company and admin authentication three authentication items so let's use the create branch authentication item in the action create so we are not allowing anybody who doesn't have the create branch permission uh, create branch authentication item to access the action create so if let's copy this stuff and put it in the statement let's tab it make it a little pretty so now here we are going to check whether the logged in user has the particular authentication item so ye app user can can create branch so create branch is the name of the authentication item okay so we are going to check if the permission uh, this user can create a branch if else we are going to put a forbidden error and a throw um, forbidden okay that also I don't remember it let me go check okay throw new forbidden HTTP expression it's TTP exception this is actually the 403 error that you get uh, to do you use this of course we have to include this uh, so use the web and that okay so we have done that so let's check out our oops do I have to log in again okay what went wrong um, so syntax error there uh, zero comma must contain class element. Mm -hmm. Class R B A C T B manager. Default. Okay, what did I do wrong? Oops. Sorry. Okay, I think that's it okay so now we are logged in as Utpala so let's go to the branches section R equals branches let's go to the branches section. we can do that okay so actually that works so what we have to do is actually remove remove the auth assignment so here we are assigning the use ID 2 use ID 2 is the person who's logged in right now that is the username user see I am logged in right now as you can see and this person has the auth assignment says that this user ID has the create branch authentication item so let's delete this and let's go back and refresh and check again there you go forbidden 
we get the, the throw exception is thrown and says that you are not allowed to do this okay so let's change the company's controller as well and add a, f add a if statement and check whether this person has the permission to do a create a company um, okay so yeah, checking e app user can create company okay simple as that let's put the exception error let's copy it from here oops do copy and paste it here else okay and we have to use use the ramp for bin action okay save and now we know that we can uh, this particular user can't create a branch because he has not he does not have the author assignment assigned to him so let's go to the company section and check there companies and try to create he see as you can see in the auth assignment table uh, where is the auth assignment table um, auth assignment auth assignment table there is no rule uh, the user id 2 does not have the create company permission so he can't do that so let's log out from Utpala and log in with add doing it easy uh, doing it easy username I'm not sure of the password, but let's see. Mm. No. No, I don't remember. Maybe this. Yes, okay. Okay, so now let's go to our branches section and create branch. As you can uh, now, how this worked was the doing it is a username has been assigned the admin role. Wait, where is that? What the assignment? See, the user ID one, which is the doing it is a user right now, he's logged in, he's assigned, he's given the auth assigned the item name admin. So the item name admin can do both create a branch and create a company so let's go to the company section and check whether that is working as well create company and that is working as well so that's the whole of rbac uh, only thing the, the, that we didn't cover was the rules section uh, i will do a lesson on that later on but for now uh, as you can see it is pretty easy to implement a rbac system in your web application and the next thing that you have to do is create a front end in order to add the parent child and all the uh, uh, item names that you want uh, and the, of course the author assignments that you want so when actually registering your user you have to ask him to fill out maybe a checkbox list of the permissions that you want to give a particular user and submit the form then add those per, i mean get the checkbox values uh, and add those checkbox values to this auth assignment. That means all those uh, permits, uh, all those rule, all those uh, actions are able to be done by that particular user. So I hope you guys understood this. Uh, if there's any questions, please do ask. I'm happy to hear, happy to help. Uh, and thank you for watching. And please share my tutorials, like my tutorials. Uh, and have a good day and have fun with the. Have a good day. Bye.